Hello everyone, this is Game Frost. In today's video, what we're going to, to be doing today is we're going to see if the UHD 770 could run better on DXVK. And with this iGPU being overclocked a bit, um, you know, it's going to be a comparison between DirectX and Vulkan. So it's not, you know, stock versus overclock or anything like that. But is it really worth it? Well, the short answer is actually no. And I did make it into a video and I'll show you guys why, you know, it's not as good as you think it is on integrated graphics.
In conclusion, DXVK on integrated graphics is pretty bad. I, but I feel like, you know, your mileage may vary. Uh, it depends on the game. It just basically depends on the GPU. But I feel like DXVK is, is a lot better on GPUs. I mean, on discrete graphics instead of doing it on integrated. Now, of course, DXVK was also made for Linux um, as a solution but you know, when it came to Windows, there were some improvements. And when I saw those benchmarks, I feel like DXVK ran a lot more poorly on games that are running on DX11 than games that are running on DX9. So in terms of Batman, you can see that we had a little bit of a higher frame rate and averages, whereas every other game we tested so far ended up being worse. And even though we're using DXVK async for it or asynchronous, which basically, you know, compiles the shaders or uses the shaders to, you know, prevent a lot of stuttering, some of these games would stutter. And it's really disappointing to see that, you know, DXVK in terms of integrated graphics won't be able to improve performance in a way. I feel like you can only use DXVK if you basically going to use this on an older title, a title that has a bugged, you know, direct decks where you can't even play it or it's just performs very, very poor or you just, you know, need it for maybe, I don't know, maybe high refresh rate if you want to, if you want to get a little bit more frames on this old title or any other title that runs DXVK quite well. So thank you guys so much for watching this benchmark comparison video. And yeah, uh, this won't be the last time I will cover DXVK because I really do like it. But, you know, in terms of IGP performance, it's not the greatest. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.